the ingredients of a great leader are hard to pin down and it's more than one characteristic. Part of it, I think, is the ability to speak plainly, uh, whether it's in very elegant English like Abraham Lincoln and Winston Churchill or somewhat more straightforward English like Ronald Reagan and I think Mrs. Thatcher, uh, but clear and in a way that appeals both to people's interests and their values and their principles. The fact that we are gathered here now shocked, but composed and determined, is a sign not only that this attack has failed, but that all attempts to destroy democracy by terrorism will fail. But one thing that struck me, I was today actually just rereading an old interview that she gave uh, in the mid-90s, and I believe the questioner asked her something about was she very angry about being removed as Labor Party leader, and she said something to the effect of, I don't get angry, which first time I'd actually heard that. I think what she really means is I don't look back. I move ahead. She was obviously very, very upset by that. I remember once Dean Acheson said of Harry Truman that Truman had the great quality of a decision maker. He wasn't burdened with regret. Once the decision was made, it was made, and you lived with the consequences of it.